Hi, I'm Srinidhi, uh, EV R&D engineer from Decibels Lab. So today we're going to look on uh, how do we connect basically a BMS, which stands for Battery Management System, integration with a lithium-ion battery pack. So we just going to look on the hardware level of the integration. So the picture which you see uh, is the currently a battery pack of a 13S4P integrated with a BMS, right? So there are two things when we talk about a BMS uh, configuration. Uh, one is uh, regarding the series that is that comes in the 13S series, which you can see on the screen, right? Uh, there is uh, on the right hand side corner. That stands for your overall voltage. Basically, in series voltage adds up and in uh, parallel current adds up. Right, so there are two parameters. One is on the voltage. One is on the discharge current. Max what a BMS can take up. So we look upon the overall voltage and the discharge current. So this is the schematics of the BMS, which you can see on the screen currently. So let us start from the top right corner. That stands from B minus. So basically, B minus stands for battery negative from the battery pack. B plus stands for battery positive uh, from the pack. Then if you just uh, come down uh, on the bottom side of the overall schematics, you can see there's a, a marking called as BC0. So basically uh, B0 starts from uh, negative of the pack. In continuation, you have B1, B2, B3, uh, which are in series connected uh, in positive and the negative. While on the left hand side, you can see there is C minus, which stands for the charge uh, uh, negative or I would say uh, discharge. So basically, a single port is allocated in a BMS where uh, you can uh, either connect for the battery negative of the discharge port or battery negative of the charge port. So usually there are two slots, one can be used for the uh, discharging and another can be used for the charging. Or uh, so some of the BMS has a, a single port where we have to divide the overall uh, wire connection from that particular port in order to get a two connections, one for the charge and discharge. So on the top level, if you see, uh, basically you have B minus, C minus, then you have communication port. Why do we have a communication port in a, a BMS is these are all uh, comes under a smart BMS. While smart BMS has a Bluetooth communication port where you can uh, monitor your uh, battery status live. Also, uh, you can uh, control or change the parameters using this communication port. So any changes made in the parameters will be communicated via this communication port. Then you have uh, NTC uh, sensors, that is a thermistor sensor in order to main, uh, observe or, uh, the thermal of the overall battery pack. And there is an onboard uh, temperature sensor of the overall battery pack. So we'll go to the series connection of the back now. So basically I'm taking an example of 13S uh, BMS here. So every Con uh, connection starts from the negative part of the battery. So where you can see the black wire, thick wire, which is connected from the battery negative terminal towards the port. Then comes the series connections where you can see here, the series connection start from B minus one. So once you connect the series one, the adjacent uh, or the neighboring series will have to be connected in continuation. For example, if you start from series one, so the second will be series two, the third will be series three. So in order to give you more clarity how the series looks, so this is an example of first series. So you'll call it as first series, second series, third series, in condition up to the number of series which are connected, right? So I'll just give you a brief overview again once back. So we'll start from the battery pack. So the bat this is the battery pack, which you can see, it has a negative terminal and positive terminal, right? Always only the battery negative terminal is connected to the BMS, not the positive terminal. So when we start from the negative terminal, uh, we connect to the uh, BMS board where it stands for B minus. Then we start connecting the series 
that is from you start from 0 1 then 1 2 3 it up to go to the 30th and the last series will be of the positive wire that's in red color right then this is the discharge or charge end which you get so you have the positive terminal from here and the negative terminal from either one one of the terminals can be used for charging and one of the terminal for the uh, what do you call it as the discharge right so you might see that the thickness of the uh, uh, positive wire and the negative discharge and charge wires are very high. Uh, 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 I mean, what do you say? On the thicker side. So here you can see the blue wire, which is the positive terminal. And here is the black wire, which is the negative terminal. And they are on the thicker part. But if you see the series connection wire, they are very thinner. Why? Because they are just used for signaling. So these wires will be just allocated to uh, main measure the voltage, basically and uh, measure the voltage at each series so there is no discharge or charge of the current at that particular wire cross section so when you look at the uh, basically on the thicker side at the negative terminal uh, where the discharge is happening the cross section of the wire is uh, bigger so basically the cross section of the wire depends upon the charge current and discharge current Usually, the discharge current be uh, more than the charge current, uh, depending on the uh, cell capability. So, that is why we use uh, thicker wire at the discharge and charge end. So, in order to split the current's capability, if, uh, if, if we look at like, uh, rather than using a very thick wire at one end, I would prefer to use two half of the sizes, so that the current split, for example, 60 amps capacity is a thick wire. So if I use 30 amps capacity two wires, basically uh, my overall cost will also reduce. Also, I'll have the flexibility to in order to bend the wires and connect it, right? So this is uh, the communication box which you can see. Uh, basically, uh, it can be connected via RS-485 connection or via Bluetooth uh, UART, this part, this particular part. Or uh, you will have a RS-485 connection too. Thank you for watching the video. So for any more uh, queries, please uh, feel free to visit our website, Decibels Lab.